All right, hi there everybody. My name is Hannah. I'm the upstairs classroom second assistant teacher. And I'm gonna be making a series of short videos to show you guys some fun crafts you guys can do during this downtime with hopefully a bunch of materials you guys have at your house. So the first video I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really cool jellyfish craft. Uh, the kids and I made these one of the last weeks of school and they're super fun and also really easy. Um, so I'll show you guys quickly how to make a basic jellyfish craft. The things that you will need, um, I used these nice um, uh, paper bowls for the top of the jellyfish. So if you've got any paper bowls, these work really well for the top. Um, and then you can decorate them however you want. I chose to put some tissue paper on mine. I think it looks really pretty, so that's what we were doing. If you don't have tissue paper, just have them, have them decorate it with like paint or markers. Anything you guys have around your house works fine. Um, and then for the jellyfish arms, or uh, legs, tentacles, we've been using some of this cool streamer. It works really well. Um, it also helps if you've got some yarn, um, anything you've got. Uh, so first of all, I'll show you what we do. Uh, we'll decorate the outside first. So what I did, we just used glue sticks. Um, feel free to use normal Elmer's glue. Just get the top of your jellyfish all covered in glue. Okay. All right, now that my jellyfish is covered in glue, I'm just gonna cover the top of this guy in some pink tissue paper. All right, now that you've got the top of your jellyfish decorated however you want, we are going to add the tentacles. So what the kids and I were doing, which I thought was kind of fun, but uh, if you don't have beads at your house, then obviously skip this step, is we were hanging some fun beads from some of the tentacles. So first, what you're gonna wanna do is use a paper clip to poke some holes in the rim of the bowl. Alright, so once you've stuck the paper clip through, kind of make sure you're wiggling the paper clip around to make that hole a little bit bigger. You can just thread different pieces of yarn through. This is just knitting yarn, um, so you can just put it against the hole. It's kind of easier if you use the paper clip to help you push the yarn through and give it a tie. Okay, all uh, right, now you can see I have attached some uh, strings here. On our other jellyfish, um, we put some fun beads on them at the ends, which was fun for the kids to do um, some, some practice with fine motor skills. Uh, but if you don't have beads at your house or you're like me and you don't feel like adding them right now, um, this is pretty cool too. So you can put some tentacles on like this. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our second set of tentacles. I am again using just streamers, birthday streamers, but if you've got ribbon, you've got just yarn, use whatever you want. All I'm doing is I'm lining this inside rim here um, with some glue. We're using uh, just a glue stick, but if you've got Elmer's glue at home, that'll work perfect. Any kind of glue should be fine. All right, just load up the inside, be super generous with the glue. And then you're just gonna take your streamers. I cut out all kind of different lengths, um, but we're gonna just start to stick it on the inside here of the jellyfish head. Just kind of grab these tentacles and just go around and stick them in there. Put your finger through. And you've got a super cute little jellyfish craft that is super easy to make. And hopefully you've got all the stuff you need for it at your house. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more fun videos.